Good morning, folks. Happy 4th. It's five days till the Observer's Brunch in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Details coming in a minute there. We've got weather disasters, space weather to discuss, some exoplanet news, and more. We'll first come, however, to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star presented a bit more activity in the northern filaments. There were multiple surges of the structures and some coronal shifting, but it is clear that even if any of the plasma ejected, it would be very small and not a concern. Solar flaring continues to be very low. We still don't have any sunspots on the disk, and even the magnetic area incoming on the south is presenting plague activity rather than sunspot umbras thus far. Solar wind here. We are within a speedy stream from the corona hole departing the earth-facing side, but it is not too intense, moderate speed only. Despite the fact the plasma has been able to penetrate our shield intermittently, we've got a little more than localized disruptions seen here on Karuna's charts. Let's peek in at our Earth spots. This typhoon east of the Philippines will be a bigger deal later this week, but the massive lows across Asia is driving deadly weather from Pakistan to China. Scores are dead, hundreds of millions in crops lost, millions of people affected with hundreds of thousands evacuated and thousands of homes destroyed. Back across the water, we're peeking in on the Earth spots south of Mexico. As we go through this week, we see them charge west while more storms pop up behind them. Towards next weekend, we could have two systems replacing the current ones and an earlier system heading right at Hawaii. The earthquake watch is set and begins today. We've been below average for quite a few days, but the disaster app scoring hit 10 this morning, and within 36 hours, we should see the next uptick in seismic activity. Let's hit our top stories. We've discussed hot Jupiters quite a bit, and we've got five new ones announced today, but we also have a number of hot Saturns announced a far less well-known type of exoplanet. We also have three new temperate Neptunes discovered at the same time. Same group announced those first two, but this last one is a different group. United States weather alerts for this evening hit the Midwest. Rain will spread east and north, but the worst of it comes to the I-States and into Kentucky and Ohio. Across the pond, we're seeing the same system continuing to deliver rain. Accumulation and flash flood concerns abound this evening. Down under, there is a weak low at the east coast of Australia. It will strengthen in the coming hours and deliver some strong storms to the region there. Folks, as always, check out suspiciousobservers.org and consider a membership for just $4. We're approaching 250 hours of material. But also, folks, for those in the desert, we're having an Observer's Brunch in just five days. Details can be found at observatoryproject.com and the Mobile Observatory Project Facebook page. Please email Kat to let us know you're coming so we can have a seat for you. Also, folks, also in Albuquerque, nine months from now, Observing the Frontier begins round three. Details available on the website. We've got the current global conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.